Ben Bernanke is sentencing the poorest 20% of the population to a cold, hungry winter. The following chart, prepared recently by J.P. Morgan, demonstrates something rather scary and makes it all too clear how the chairman's plans to assist the U.S. population via some imaginary wealth effect due to quantitative easing too is about to backfire. As is now becoming very evident, the prices of energy and food products are about to surge and in many cases have already done so. There is a limit to how much every commodity can open limit up before it appears on the SKU price at one's local grocery store. And while a marginally declining core CPI is irrelevant for this exercise as it measures only items that are completely outside of the scope of everyday life, what will be far more important to end consumers will be the push higher in food and energy costs. The problem is that for the lowest 20% of Americans, as per the BLS, food and energy purchases represent over 50% of their after-tax income. a number that drops to 10% for the wealthiest percentile. In other words, should rampant liquidity end up pushing food and energy prices to double, something that is a distinct possibility currently, Ben Bernanke may have very well sentenced about 60 million Americans to a hungry and very cold winter, let alone having any resources to buy trinkets with the imaginary wealth effect which for over 80% of the US population will never come. Here is how JP Morgan explains the phenomenon. When the Fed considers the possible consequences of a falling dollar resulting from quantitative easing too, it should perhaps focus on food and energy prices as much as on traditionally computed core inflation. First, the food energy exposures of the low two income quintiles are quite high. Second, the core CPI has a massive weight to owner's equivalent rent, which suggests that the imputed cost of home occupancy has gone down. Unfortunately, this is not true for families living in homes that are underwater and cannot move to take advantage of it, unless they choose to default and bear the consequences of doing so. Due to the housing mess, there has perhaps never been a time when traditionally computed core inflation as a way of measuring changes in the cost of things means less than it does right now. Since nothing appears to have jarred America from its primetime TV iPad hypnosis yet, perhaps this is for the best and a few hungry months in sub-zero temperature is precisely what several tens of millions of Americans need to finally march on Constitution Avenue. I'm Steve Shank. You're looking at this because you're concerned or interested in food. Let me tell you where this all came from. We've been involved with shipping food all over the country for about 27 years. And it came from the old pioneers. My daddy was 62 when I was born. That means he was born in 1887. And the old timers always had food. Reason? Americans are rugged individualists. They're independent. They don't need nothing from nobody. And the reason the old pioneers and the old timers always had food around is because it's our greatest dependency. And they never knew when they were going to have a crop or when they weren't. And they were ready. Hey, I'm a farm boy from Minnesota, and it's just about impossible for me, along with the rest of you, I'm sure, to believe that in America, the breadbasket of the world, it's possible to have food problems. But we do. You realize in 1959, this country could have fed the entire world five times over? Now, we're importing 30% of our food? This is scary. And right now, with the economy the way it is, over 30% of our families, when they go down to the grocery store every week, have to make a decision as to whether they're going to buy food or pay some other bills that they've got sitting on their doorstep. The stock market is up and down like a yo-yo. Nations are falling over one thing. Food is that interesting. Food has always been the issue of wars and rumors of wars. Nations have fallen because food was not there. And it's happening right now on this planet. We're living in fearful times. And here's a thought for you. Every single fear that we have is based on some dependency being threatened. 
If we didn't need our jobs, we wouldn't fear losing them. If we didn't need the credit from the bank, we wouldn't worry about whether we had it or not. If we didn't need food, we wouldn't worry about whether the farmers can afford to stay in business. Very simply, eliminate fear by being independent. Welcome to the currency of the future. Are you tired of watching others win? Ever been in the right place at the right time? Most people want to win financially, but just don't know how. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how to win by introducing a concept that everyone needs. The bursting of the real estate market with a stunning array of bank failures, lost jobs, dependency on oil, political chaos, and natural disasters around the world have created a crisis that not one of us can do anything about to protect our families. eFoods Global is introducing a new currency that will change the way you think. Are you ready? Do you have what it takes to not only survive hard times, but also thrive in them? In times like these, the most valuable currency we have is food and food reserves. It is more precious than gold, oil, and cash. Food is our greatest dependency because when you're hungry, nothing else matters. You know it, and I know it. eFoods Global is offering a unique plan to flourish in these times. You can't control earthquakes, floods, or the real estate meltdown, but if you have food, you have personal solutions to how these things affect you. More and more people desperately need food reserves. This massive increase in demand means enormous financial opportunity for those who recognize it and share it with others. eFoods Global is the gold standard of food reserves. Once you serve and enjoy one of our delicious, easy to fix meals and then save some for the future, you'll have caught our vision. Serve it, save it, share it. It couldn't be simpler. Having enough of the right kind of reserves is a crucial part of winning in any of life's challenges. Our economy thrives when reserves are high. Oil, gold, food and savings. Your lifestyle thrives when your reserves are high. Our premium food line is the financial plan for you, your family, friends and neighbors to create peace of mind and independence. Many will be able to earn their food that have no other means to feed themselves. Others will be able to create part-time, full-time, and big-time income with eFoods Global. This is the right time, and you are in the right place. Click the Win button now and reserve your founding position along with a person who showed you this video. And stake your claim on your own financial future. We are already attracting thousands, many of whom are coming from our current customer base. Would you like them to be a part of your team? eFoods Global is now accepting member applications for this once-in-a-lifetime chance to change your life forever. We have a successful business model, high-powered leadership, and something that everyone must have. Register right here, right now, and order your six free meals so you can truly discover what the currency of the future and your freedom taste like. eFoods Global. Saving families one meal at a time.